Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and today we are going to discussing about how to set up Appium Python client into our Python. Okay, and for this you have to search for PyCharm first. Okay, then we need to create the project there. Once you open, we'll go for step by step and this is the time like it will show you for here. Just click on new project and here it will show you for Appium Python. Okay, this is my project. This is my virtual environment and this is my uh, showing for 11. I'm going to take Python 11. Okay, I have two Python versions, that's why it will show you like this. And I'm going to choose for Python 11, not for 6. And this for virtual environment location, everything same. And I'm clicking for new. Now, it is creating for my Python project. Once it is created, uh, my file and location everything then we need to uh, search for our python file like python client okay now it is set up for everything just right click and One minute, I need to get the settings actually. Settings. And I need to go for project location, project interpreter. Python interpreter will be there, project name that is app and Python. And this is a Python interpreter. And here is a place symbol. And here I need to search for. It is taking time to load. Package support is Python package tools window. Some indexing issue, that's why it is taking time. I'm, de I'm doing for indexing now. Once after making for indexing, I uh, will go for here. Previous after re, uh, right click in the project, we can able to get the settings also. Now it is uh, different things are there. Just to close and reopen PyCharm with this project. and clicking for the files and settings and the python interpreter and go to here now appium iphone python client you can able to see right python client appium python client is the one it is there appium ui is there w appium python client you have so many things you can able to see there is only one appium python and it is now it is uh, a beta version of 3 is there right now we are using for 2 also is okay python client 2.1 or something even you can able to use for 3 version of python anything is fine 
okay even latest version i can able to go for python client 3.0.1 version i am going and just i am going to install it now after installation you can able to see uh, i mentioned two now i mentioned three okay three version you can wait because it will take time to download everything and uh, set up for your project and uh, it will take little bit time okay and the rpm ui automator also we need to download and install not now actually we can able to install for later if you want for this ui automator basically test case creation and common code creation and everything it will be can able to create by using ios and android also if, if you want some documentation for ui automator appium ui automator that's a link you can able to see now the package is installed here just click close and you can able to see all the things it is installed okay and just click ok and interacting level uh these settings and all not required you can close it no issue okay now your appium installation is successful okay there is no much in that uh, now we need to create for first test case that i'll show you into our next video session okay this are only for setup in for that appium uh, python cl client okay next video session i'll show you the first uh, test case how we can able to create and all okay thank you for watching